of the Anglican Church, of the Church of England. This was the entrance to the church. And when you look over here, there's this thing, which used to be a spy hole to the male slave dungeons. What? So this area was exposed, actually. So you could see to the male dungeons. So what I'm trying to say is, whoever passed by to worship God, or to sing hallelujah, could see, could hear, and smell what was going on in the dungeons. Those in the dungeons also heard whatever was going on here. So people ask this question, why a church of the dungeon? And it's not so surprising. If you should visit Elmina Castle, the same thing happened over there. The Dutch constructed their church on the female dungeons. So to me, I say there were prisons. Yeah, there were prison God to be in this position. So more like depicting heaven and hell on that. And also, I can also take you back to 1452. You see, the, the, the Roman Catholic Church came into the city. I can say the Roman Catholic Church was the head of state of Europe then. The Roman Catholic Church authorized the Portuguese and the Spanish that they could enslave whoever they find in the course of their exploration, as far as whoever they find is a non-Christian. Yeah. So that is how come, you know, Christopher Columbus committed a lot of atrocities mm -hmm. in the West Indies. Mm -hmm. That is why we had the transatlantic slavery. To me, I think it was business. In Ghana, there's this saying, scratch my back, I scratch my back. Because from whatever proceeds of profit the, the Spanish and the Portuguese made, the Catholic Church even made that. And also on moral grounds, they used certain stories in the Bible to defend their malicious reasons. One of the stories was the story of um, Cain and Abel. That Cain had a black skin, he was a cursed one, so Africans were deemed to be slaves. There's another story of um, Noah. Ham, yeah. Ham, Ham was cursed to be the servant of the servant of the brothers. And they are also trying to tell us that Ham had a black skin, so it was our destiny to be slaves. To, like to, the, to the others. So these are some of the malicious reasons mm -hmm. Europeans, you know, brought about to, you know, to defend their reasons on moral grounds. So perhaps that's how come churches were built on dungeons. Yeah. So any questions or comments? Today, it's no more a church, it's a children's library today. And unfortunately, majority of Ghanaians are Christians today. You know, it has been the threat with colonization and all that. They made our traditional religion to do devilish, black magic, sort of. And now people were deterred. You know, now the Europeans established schools, hospitals. If you're not a converted Christian, you couldn't use their schools, hospitals, and all that. These are some of the strategies they adapted over the years. Good. So I'll take you through the male dungeon. Let's go down. Thank you. 